As everyone knows, September is the most happening month of the year. There were so many great indie games this month that we just couldn't settle for a top 5. We had to do a top 8. Boson X, if that's how you pronounce it, is the game that fulfills every physicist's dream of experiencing what it's like inside of a particle accelerator. And it's pretty cool. Pleasing colours, a tubular shape, and chaotic blasts of lightning. Not to mention electric beats that really make this run a go. Compared to other endless runners, Boson X is really sharp, with intuitive three button controls, twitch reflexes, and genuine challenge. The end particle is a very addicting and fun game that accelerates time itself. This is our hacking sword. When we plug into something that's hackable, this menu comes up that allows us to modify its variables. For instance, let's drop this guy's health to zero to get him out of the way. Hack and Slash is a pretty misleading title for a game that isn't actually a hack and slash. You see, hack and slash is really just a hack, as in the game is about hacking the game. But it's not really too confusing. In game, you can rewrite the game's code, and for example, make an enemy give zero damage, or repair an unfinished bridge. The hacking mechanics can be picked up by the uninitiated, but we feel this double fine production is going to be truly appreciated by the hackers, and there sure are a lot of them. Team 17 are famous for their long-running series, Worms, but the team have headed in a new direction with Flockers. To put simply, Flockers is the 1991 classic Lemmings with a fresh coat of sheep. Move a mindless flock of sheep from point A to B, whilst avoiding the death traps along the way. Team 17 has not lost any of its humour, and the gory, bloody deaths of your sheep are good for some laughs of the darker variety. Flockers lays legitimate claims to being a spiritual successor to Lemmings. Twenty-five years is longer than either of us has been alive, so it's been quite a long time since the last Wasteland title back in 1988. The game was originally planned to continue on into a trilogy, but for many reasons including EA and a decline in the market, Wasteland was never followed up. However, if you know your gaming history, developers Interplay would in 1997 make one of the greatest games of all time in Fallout, which was heavily based off Wasteland. In fact, it was called Fallout instead of Wasteland because EA owned the rights. Now, after a successful Kickstarter in 2012, the series has been shown deserved respect with a true sequel. Hey there, uh, Geo Rigio Manus? Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. See. Ah, the 70s. What a time. Hippies, groovy disco, lava lamps, and most memorable of all, B movies. Roundabout pays homage to this by being the world's first 70s B-movie game. The game is segmented by hilariously bad clips, as seen in the trailer, and together follow the amusing story of the world's first rotating chauffeur. Gameplay is evidently comprised of ridiculous revolving limousine driving, which will result in running over more people than picking them up. There's nothing too deep here, just a really fun time and some laughs. Heavy Bullets is a randomised FPS dungeon crawler in a brilliantly similar vein to Spelunky. Its flashy neon colours make for a surprisingly moody and immersive setting that has a genuine dungeon feel. The first person element mostly unique in the roguelike genre allows for enemies to lurch at you frighteningly from hidden places and always keep you on your toes. The gameplay is really smart too. You only have 6 bullets but they can be picked up, recovered and recycled after being fired and cash can be stored in ATMs for future runs, adding another intriguing point of strategy. Heavy Bullets is a top of the range roguelike, with cool new elements that keep things fresh for genre veterans. Can you not see it? The end is near. Oraga is infested with foolish creatures. Endless Legend is one of those games that makes you go, is that really indie? 
it's got the beautiful graphics, a huge map, and it's a huge 4x game. Without going into excruciating detail, some popular 4x games include Rome, Total War, and the Civilization series. Amazingly, Endless Legend holds its own against heavyweights of the genre, perhaps surpassing them in visuals and definitely in price, but it's more than just a cheaper option. We return to it later. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter has been one of the most anticipated indie games of 2014, and for good reason. Ethan Carter is a true detective game. Set in an isolated and expansive valley, you set off on a truly haunting and lonely experience to explore and discover clues about a string of murders in the area. Inspecting a scene will not give you answers, but only more questions about an increasing complex dark force at work. And you can find more clues by talking with the dead. The music lingers in beautiful creepiness, and the visuals are beyond stunning. Ethan Carter is one of the best games this year, period. That's the games for this month, and if you don't mind, tell us your favourite in the comments below. Thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former. <laughs> As everyone knows, September is the most happening month of the year. There were so many great games this Indie Games this month, I'm gonna fix oh. my hair. It's gonna be perfect. I need a haircut. Like a it's too long. I mean a god. I'm a wog. Oh, hey. A woman of god. <laughs> <laughs>